today, I'm going to be redesigning a popular wallpaper app, Wallpaper Engine. So, let's get started. So I start with the heading. So I put the picture in the background and reduce the opacity. And I try to figure out the font. Make sure it looks official and not really weird. I use Google Fonts, like their material symbols, to get the nice and unified symbols in here. I make sure the alignment's all right, and I use a little bit of a Windows 11 design language. I create more tabs and change the icons so they match with what they're actually supposed to do. And I take a Steam logo with a wallpaper workshop and just place it there instead of the search icon. I then hide the backgrounds because those are the ones that won't be focused. I hide the picture and it looks good already, but we're still far from done. I try to tweak the background color so it looks like it actually lines up and ends up doing it. So I took a snapshot of my current wallpaper and cropped it down and added some rounded corners. Now and then I add the title with the little heading icon for the thing, whatever you want to call it. I round the corners of the thumb because I feel like it'd look better. I add a check mark to show that the wallpaper is currently applied. And I start to redesign the right sidebar. So, this right sidebar shows a bunch of information, but I feel like it doesn't do it in. It doesn't have good spacing, it doesn't have a good layout. It just, it seems inconsistent, things are in places that it shouldn't be in. So, I start by making the tags right here with rounded corners like the other one. Install wallpaper, instead of taking up the whole slot, I decided to split it up into two. And instead of saying comment, I decided to, add, to put it as add a comment. As you can see, it kind of playing around the spacing, so it looks like it fits and it's even. The ones are obviously uneven because most people uninstall them. And usually it says like unsubscribe from them or like subscribe. So I thought that was kind of weird because it sounded like you're like in a subscription type thing. So I changed it to install and uninstall. And then start by making new headers for the right. So we have the arrow, the drop down arrow for the colors. I start by redesigning these whole little sliders. There's a bunch of them. So I just do the same thing but round the corners. So obviously I haven't found a icon for each one of these, but is this thing flip? I just did like flipped with a question mark to kind of say like, oh, is this wallpaper flip? Just to help with a little bit, I don't know, just easier to understand. And then go down to the preset section. So instead of having them in a weird grid like this, I actually changed the presets to options, I believe. So I just line up the icons, and then after I'm going to go search up the new icons and replace them. So here goes the icons. They're probably going to switch. I honestly don't remember, but they're probably going to switch. So looking at wallpaper, I just see the types of icons that they have. So presets, I'm pretty sure I've changed to options. Let's see here. So I make sure everything is aligned here. And then I group the title and the icons. And then I make sure, and then I group everything on the right side. And I make sure they're both aligned. As you can see here, adding auto layout to a few things, making sure it's all aligned. group everything make sure it's even spacing yeah so I changed presets to options right here I felt like it was a little bit better of a title because presets I feel like wallpaper options just fits a lot better so I go on to create the spacers between the different options I didn't want too many spacers, so I kind of just separated them between the different titles, like properties, color options, and then just regular options. So now I kind of crap up the parts already designed and take a little focus on stuff that I didn't do. So, where's this playlist on the bottom? I just added those options to the bottom left. So it's going to be like a like universal sidebar. 
if you will. Obviously, place all the icons and then to change them. Start to change that spacing, make sure everything aligns. Grab the wallpaper edge logo, slap it right on the left, top left. Added titles, so I thought the sidebar looked really, really empty. So what I did is I added some recess wallpaper. So what that allows us to do is it just like shows a recent applied wallpaper, so you can just look at that. And then I use the new Figma AI features, but to create auto layout, auto layout frame, and just duplicate it a bunch. Drag it down. So it looks like I'm having a little struggle because it's my first time. Drag it down. It changes the name for me. That was a huge help. And I just used one to apply. So I has a radio button. Same type of little hover design. Change the spacing. Our layout was kind of messed up with me, so I change it. Added a title to options on the bottom. And I really felt like um, this is a good redesign because it, it just seems outdated and hasn't changed in a while. This could be a lot more transparent. So I made the previews uh, rounded, currently applied to characters that with low gradient. And I thought about making them rectangles, but I couldn't find that to work. So obviously the auto layout helped me with that, but I really couldn't figure out um, how to get it to work with rectangles as close as it would fit, at least with my testing. And I tried to do the replace content, but it didn't really work. So I thought I was going to generate images or whatever. I'm not sure what I was thinking. But then I go ahead and I try to remove the gradients. And just find a bunch of wallpapers here. So... I just resize it and add auto layout. Duplicate them down. And I just find some more wallpapers. And this was definitely the most time consuming part. So you go out Google and search up every single image. There was probably an easier way to do it through some AI plugin, but I just thought it'd be kinda cool to search up minimalist wallpapers. They're all here. It already looks really, really good. Starting to fill in the last layer. After this, I believe I changed the previews up or I changed everything to line up with the top title. So I go to try to apply auto layout so it can automatically rescale, but I couldn't get that to work. Yes, there we go. Move the preview window down. Make sure everything aligns top. I add a gradient to add the options on the bottom. So usually you have options for the wallpapers. So like to close the wallpaper or whatever. The things I found really weird is there's one that says OK and cancel. Cancel closes wallpaper engine and OK also closes wallpaper engine. So I thought it'd be a little bit easier to have it disable, apply, and close wallpaper engine buttons. So you really know what you're doing. I then start to make the discover page. So all I do is I delete the last row, move it down, and create a search bar. So I create the search bar, and then I create a bunch of filters. I actually end up adding auto layout to that, because that actually worked. So I added a bunch of tags here, I thinned the search bar. I added a little separator there, I think I might reduce the opacity later. So 
So technically what's going on is like the little bottom icons. So here's a little preview. So the bottom icons, they hide on the bottom. Uh, but if there's more wallpapers, they kind of just like go on top with their gradient. So like they're kind of like sticky in that position, if you will. Now here, the second day is right where I try to add some color. I thought we were lacking some color. So I added some circles, grabbed the steam blue, added a nice layer blur. So that adds nice colors, and I decided to change the opacity of the selection boxes because I felt like this change stood, stood out too much. So I changed the opacity to 50. And I'll try to add some cool drop shadows. I also added a glow behind the image, the applied image, to make it stand out a little bit more, give that color. I also make these little selections lighter by using the color 44444. And then I create different variations. So Wallpaper Engine has a very good opportunity here to change your themes to match the new style. So you just change the fill of the circles with the new layer blur. Make Christmas ones, make Halloween ones, winter. Or you can just have the option to change your own theme, like where to place the circles, whatever you want. So these circles are actually placed in the very bottom layer. So you shouldn't obstruct your content. They're just there to look nice. So here, like at a preview, take a look at the animations and look at the different themes here. So, and that's it. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and have a great day.